Bar ask Reddit asks Sirius what are some of the creepiest declassified documents made available to the public? Jeffrey Dahmer's full confession, a couple of hundred pages of pure madness. Necrophilia, dismemberment, skinning, lobotomy, body part preservation, cannibalism. Dahmer became pretty close to his interrogating detectives, Dennis Murphy and Patrick Kennedy, and provided a lot of detail to them. A lot of it in a pretty candid, off-hand manner. It's incredibly hard to find Dahmer's confession online without it being behind a paywall. But it is in the public domain. So I've provided link to the PDF downloads. The first 63 pages are mainly forms and letters. The real meat of the confession starts afterwards. Part, URL redacted, Milwaukee, Confession 1. PDF, part, URL redacted, Milwaukee, Confession 2. PDF. Operation Northwoods. URL redacted, basically. The US government was going to carry out attacks its own people, as well as other military targets, and blame it on the Cuban government. So that the US would have a justified reason for going to war with Cuba. The plan involved blowing up US ships and even inciting acts of terrorism on the streets of America. Killing civilians. It was backed by the DoD and Joint Chiefs of Staff. Thankfully, John Kennedy vetoed the idea. According to Adam Walensky, JFK's speechwriter and friend at the time, JFK left the meeting and said, and we call ourselves the human race. Edit. Changed RFK to JFK. Because I'm a dumbass. Also, I get it dudes. 9-11 was an inside job. Edit 2. My first gold. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. Thank you so much kind stranger. Closing parenthesis dot. Never forget that the local PD returned to Dahmer and naked. Beaten. Crying. Bleeding. Minor boy that had escaped Dahmer's grasp. Also despite two women who found him. Protesting and pleading with the officers to save his life. The officers were reinstated too. After the My Lai massacre, killing of around 400 to 500 innocent civilians in Vietnam after an army troop killed an entire village. The US government established a group to investigate other war crimes like this occurring in Vietnam, the Vietnam War Crimes Working Group. They found 28 massacres of equal or greater magnitude than My Lai that the public was unaware of, so literally thousands of innocent people killed by US soldiers. The information has since been reclassified, but there were several journal articles on it when it was first released. Not sure if it's creepy, but certainly disturbing edit, here's a link to an article about it by the LA Times from when it was originally declassified if anyone is interested, URL redacted, I remembered the details wrong. It was seven larger scale massacres, and 203 reported events of war crimes, murder of civilians torture, etc. The article goes into more detail. Not sure if it's declassified but, the case of Hisashi Aochihei was a Japanese nuclear plant worker who was exposed to a lot of radiation which left him looking like a fallout ghoul. They kept him alive for three months even though he was in a lot of pain. His heart even stopped three times in an hour but they kept on resuscitating him. I don't know much about it, but it is interesting to read about. The most shocking part of this story to me is that it happened in fucking 1999. This wasn't some World War II era shit. URL redacted, methods of reported torture that author Douglas Valentine wrote were used at the interrogation centers included. Rape, gang rape, rape using eels, snakes, Military intelligence officer K. Barton Osborne reports that he witnessed the following use of torture. The use of the insertion of the six-inch dowel into the canal of one of my detainee's ears. And the tapping through the brain until dead. Dot. Operation C, URL redacted, wiki, Operation underscore C spray, the military sprayed supposedly harmless bacteria over San Francisco to study the spread of biological weapon attacks. It was revealed that this happened over 200 times all across the US. Not so much creepy but rather pretty freaking cool in a 50s sci-fi B-movie kind of way. 
Project 1794 https www wired.com/2012/10/the dash air force slash closing parenthesis top secret program with the US Air Force working with a Canadian aeronautics company to build a supersonic flying saucer like aircraft that would be able to simultaneously wage psychological war on our cold war enemies as well as physical war it was also designed to be a bomber the project was scrapped when they figured out that not only would it be too expensive to build enormous flying disks, but also that crafts of that shape were near impossible to fly at supersonic speed. I'm pretty sure a lot of UFO conspiracies were started by the smaller test flight models. In 1984, a psychic remote viewed the planet Mars for the URL redacted library reading room docs CIA RDP 960788R0019007600019. PDF. In his remote view he's asked to travel backwards to several points in time in Mars history and several points of interests using coordinates. The psychic ends up describing things like some sort of planetary catastrophe. Strange structures, including pyramids. And the strange inhabitants on the red planet. Whether you believe in aliens and conspiracy theories or not. It's definitely weird that an official branch of the government has run experiments like these. The Men Who Stare at Goats is a great movie about this stuff. Also despite two women who found him, protesting and pleading with the officers to save his life, the officers were reinstated too. Why wouldn't they do anything? Edit, okay, I know why they didn't help him now. It's really fucked up. Deleted. I was watching the raw footage in Arabic. And I have the first name as one of the traitors. My heart fucking dropped when Saddam called it. What a terrifying time and place. Fuck that video. It's the most unsettling video I probably will ever see. A combination of incredible incompetence and homophobia. The police failed to look up Dharma's identity. Where they would have realized that he was a registered sex offender who was currently on probation. The boy's name was Kone Rak Synthesimphone. He was the brother of another boy who Dharma had molested years earlier. Also the reason he was on probation. The police officers also delivered the boy to Dharma's apartment. If they had investigated the stench emanating from the place, they would have found numerous decomposing body parts from previous murders. Recordings were discovered of the officers making homophobic statements to their dispatcher and cracking jokes about reuniting the lovers. Edit. As others have mentioned below, the police were also incredibly racist. And the fact that the two women who intervened were black is another reason they completely failed in their duty. Also, again as others have mentioned, they weren't just reinstated. One was promoted and ended up being elected president of the Milwaukee Police Association. You have to be fucking kidding mine 1981 Nevins surviving family members filed suit against the federal government. Alleging negligence. My grandfather wouldn't have died except for that. And it left my grandmother to go broke trying to pay his medical bills. Says Mr. Nevin's grandson, Edward J. Nevin III, a San Francisco attorney who filed the case in U.S. District Court. The lower court ruled that the government was immune from lawsuits. The Nevin family appealed the suit all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court, which declined to overturn lower court judgments. It was fun, 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 where else could a red-blooded American boy lie, kill, cheat, steal, rape and pillage with the sanction and bidding of the all-highest? George Hunter White, who oversaw drug experiments for the CIA as part of Operation Midnight Climax, URL redacted. MKUltra was pretty fucked up. CIA created mind control program that tried a bunch of different things to control behavior in people paid people to be LSD test subjects by picking them off street and paying them in cocaine just to leave for them dead after. Among other stuff, Unabomber was a test subject and it fucked him up and lead to him killing people. Also the author of One Flight Over the Cuckoo's Nest was a test subject. As well as Whitey Bulger and the lyricist for The Grateful Dead. Robert Hunter, brings new meaning when you realize the feds were in the head of a guy who wrote, Eyes of the World. Mr. Dharma further stated he would cut off the penis and body parts. 
and put them in formaldehyde to preserve them and then look at them and then masturbate for gratification, confused face. The dude drilled holes in people's heads and poured acid and boiling water into them to try to make them into sex zombies. Remove. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to support the channel, and above all, have an excellent day, you amazing people.